cook out of this shit? And a very important question I ask you guys. Do you trust me? So far, do you trust me? Curry chicken, shrimp and grits, lobster's coming, this is coming, deep fried apple pie. Do you trust me? What if you trust me? Bring me some cornbread today. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. I've had so many, oh, I want to make cornbread, but I want to, uh, take advantage of the shortcuts. The only time cheating is acceptable is when you're cooking. Most of y'all think grandma's secret recipe is some secret recipe. You wasn't paying attention. It's this. Let me show you how to do it. So it tastes like the way grandma made. Ready? Let's go. Very simple. Quick, fast. Very simple. For every box. Make sure you check the date on them too because uh, when you don't check the date and they sit in stores for a long period of time, little bugs and stuff can get in them. So I like to always check my dates and make sure they're good. And definitely do a nice little eye test too. This looks really good. So for each bag that you use, right? For each bag, one egg. Each bag, one egg. Got my hot water here. Okay, what I'm making. Always have your hot water ready to go. So you can drop them in there and go. So, our topic today is cookouts. We've already done a couple of things already. So I'm not sure what time I'm going to air each one of them. But we got a few more already in the bag, so you're probably already up to speed. Uh, cornbread is a real tricky, tricky one. If you don't make it right, it's going to be horrible. You don't want it to taste like cake, but you want it to be sweet. You don't want it to be too flat, but you want it to be fluffy. So it's one of those things where it's, it's weird. But let me show you how to do it. Two eggs, two bags of Jiffy. I would start off with a cup of milk. Just mix it around. I'll hit it again with about a half a cup. Now, even when you think you put too much milk in it, the little chunks and grittiness of the grain is going to start to come apart. It's going to make it look a lot better than you thought. You may have thought you put too much milk in there, but you didn't. Put the sides in there. You got to let it sit for a few minutes. Just keep whisking it. Throw the lumps out. Let's put in two, maybe one and a half. the sugar. One and a half. Oh yeah. You're going to see the lumps. Don't worry about that. Just keep on mixing. Even if you want to let it sit for a minute. If you want to go like, subscribe, share to the Let's Eat Show. You can do that while that's sitting. Oh yeah. Don't forget to order your mugs, your aprons, Keep mixing. Keep mixing. Make sure your oven's preheated. 350. Keep 
Magic Mixer. Try to get some lumps out the best you can. You don't have to go crazy, but try to get them out the best you can. Okay. Let it sit for a few minutes. Japan. And just spread. That's sort of the stick. With a nice spread. Whatever kind of spray you tend to use. If you want to use oil or butter, get in and do that. Right. So let's get in there. Like I said, just get the lumps up. And you may think, oh, it was too runny. That's where we want, right there. That's what you want. If it's too, if it's like a thicker pancake mix, it's not going to be the lift. If it's light, it's going to be light and fluffy. Nice. Coming together nice. Now I'm going to show you a very important trick that a good friend of mine showed me years ago. I always had a problem with my cornbread. And I used to try to do it from scratch and whatever, whatever. And it kept falling. Boom. Boom. He told me why it fell. Then he told me I'm working too hard. So let's see. So we take it, just pour it in. Very simple. Get all your excess out with your spat rubber spatula. Don't waste nothing. Don't waste nothing. I promise you. Do it this way. Wow, just like grandma's a little bit. Mm -hmm. Y'all wasn't paying attention, man. When grandma was showing you, you was not paying attention. Neither was I. So, just give it a little wiggle. Give it a little wiggle. Now, this is very important. Get your oil. I got olive oil. Just drizzle a little bit. All around, just a little bit. All around. Okay. A couple of drops. Let's see a little more in this corner. Here we go. This is the reason why your cornbread doesn't come out right. Pull it. You notice those nice little designs in the middle? Like, what? how did I get that in there? That's what I'm doing. We're evenly putting that oil all through the only it's going to help it rise it's going to evenly cook very important very very important nice just like that See those lines in it? See those little lines? That's gonna make it lift up. Or gonna hit it, let it cook evenly. We have no problems. We'll put it in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes and we'll go back and check on it, okay? So I'll see you in about 20 minutes, but keep your eye on it. Don't go messing around, talking on the phone and messing around. Keep your eye on it. 15 minutes, check it. Wait till another 20, then pull it up. Or I'll come back in 20 and see how we're looking. See you in a little bit. Okay, so I checked it in about 15, 20 minutes. Um, what you gotta do is take a toothpick, just stick it in the middle of it, and when you pull it out, it's nice and smooth with no you know wetness or residue on it, you're good to go. And you want that color. That's the color you want right there. Now, what I like to do while it's nice and hot, you let it sit for a while. I like to take my butter, just ooze it over the top of the old girl there. You know, let it go all down there. You see the little crevices in there from the oil and moving it around. Put that butter in there, man. Stop playing with it. Stop playing. Mm -hmm. I promise y'all. This is the closer you're going to get to grandma. Closer.
closest. Yeah, get all that butter in there. Well, it's nice and hot. Get it in there. Listen, y'all, very important, man. Take our time with this food. Let's bring it back to the old school. Find the opportunities to uh, share with our families, our friends, and just fellowship. Uh, this is it. This is it. Cornbread. You gotta love it. Love you. Appreciate you, y'all. Let's see, man. Come on. Man.